Hello, this is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, I have been asked regarding fruit flies because fruit flies are um, addicted and make a beeline for kombucha when it's brewing, um, sourdough, go in the kefir as well. And how do I get rid of them? Well, I take a lot of precautions, uh, as you saw on me kombucha bottling um, video. Anytime I'm dealing with fruit or the kombucha and that, I keep it covered for as much as I can do. Um, when you're actually working with it, then obviously you can't keep it covered then. Uh, but uh, I keep the bottle tops down. I've got the tap jars now for the kombucha and that so I don't have to be fiddling around with the top of it apart from when I'm filling it up. Um, but so I haven't got any fruit flies as yet this year. Uh, I have had fruit flies a few years ago and uh, I made traps for them. So basically all you need is an empty plastic bottle, any sizes do. The, the Coke bottles are better because they've got more of a, a funnelly shape to the top of them. But I haven't got any of those. But I'm just using this uh, cordial bottle as a demonstration to, to show you basically what to do. So uh, get your scissors. And just cut the top off it basically. Take your top off and set it inside. As I say, it works better on the others because they're more funnel shaped so with this type of bottle it needs something to seal it down with as I say I've got no cellar tape or duct tape or anything but I found some electrical tape outside in the workshop so we'll try this I don't know how well it will work though Push the top down and then I'm holding it with that. Mm, that seems to be holding it. Where's the end now? Tops held down. Ooh, I should have done this before. <laughs> right. Uh, I've got some bits of pineapple in. I found that pineapple works best. Basically, put it down the hole, put a drop of water in it. And then just leave it anywhere you want in your kitchen but the fruit fly comes along goes down into it and then it tries to crawl up and get back out that's why the funnel shaped ones are the better because they can't this would work but not as good you can take it to the next degree cling film Find ends of things. I don't know if you ever see. That's it. I 
just when I do find the end I can't get it break off there we are put your cling film over it stretch it down to make a little teeny hole in it. This is a very sharp knife. Make it a couple of little teeny holes in it. You're better using a cocktail stick because you want a little round hole. They are the same again. The fruit fly will smell the pineapple. Go to these holes because that's where they smell strongest. Go down into it and then if they do manage to get up through the funnel, the top bit, they would normally fly away. But with your cling film being there, they try and try to get out and they can't get out. So that'll catch more. So that's the fruit fly trap. This is a quick reply in response to Kim from Hancock Homestead and Gardens. A lovely lady, a very good channel. Uh, she's opened up about different problems she's got. She also does some gardening and the same setting facts. She's waiting for chickens as well and um, she, she's going on a little adventure. And uh, I do enjoy watching the channel and, and I hope you would do too. So if you're interested, nip over to uh, speak to Kim, well, to watch Kim on uh, Hancock's Homestead and Gardens. If you watch the channel and like it and subscribe, just put a little comment to say that Liz, Little Open Homestead, sent you over to have a little look. Thank you very much. Bye. It's a perfect situation.